What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. Uh, this is part two with Taurus's Oracle card reading for July 2022. Sorry about that. I had to delete some, um, I had to make some space on my drive. I apologize. Tower, solid foundation, successful effort. A new business idea is about to really, really, really take off for a Taurus. Taurus feminine. How vibrational. Okay, I heard a new business idea for a Taurus femme. How vibrational Taurus femme is about to really take off. So successful effort, a lot of hard work on the business idea. You're going to uh, have stability. Um, but you got to build it and grow it and manifest it and nurture it like a little baby. Um, and um, it will manifest and grow. Your Taurus high vibrational Taurus spam. I didn't hear specifically what it was. Beware of greed. A very ill Capricorn in a Taurus's life is about to try to come to you asking for money. Okay, I heard a very ill Capricorn is about to come to you trying to ask for money. So some kind of ill Capricorn energy. Um, I feel they can be masculine or feminine. Um, they're very ill in some shape, form, or fashion. I didn't hear what kind of illness it is, but um, they're very apparently very greedy, and they're going to try to come to you asking you for money in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so beware of greed from this Capricorn energy, masculine or feminine caps. You're picking up caps energy very strong in here. One of you guys is about to finalize a divorce from a cap spam. Um, this could be a masculine or a femme caps though. Um, they're very ill though. They're very sick and they're about to come to you asking for money. So beware of greed from this Capricorn energy. And a very greedy Aries that a, a younger Taurus masculine is dating, is dating you strictly for the money. You need to hear this. She does not mind putting her booty out for some money. Oh my God. Whoa. So you're a younger Taurus masculine. Um, you, I feel you'd be 36, 35, 34, what have you, what have you, or younger. Um, you have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter, charge. You're dating an Aries femme. You're dating an Aries femme. Um, she could have Aries in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter, charts. I heard she doesn't mind putting her booty out for money. So you've been giving her money. Um, now you're dating her. So you technically, that's not called prostitution. You, I mean, you're dating her, but she knows you're dating. She is dating you for the money. If you didn't know that she, you're giving her money, but I think she looks at it as I'm not dating him if he doesn't give me money. Um, i.e. I'm not giving him no sex and no nookie if he ain't giving me the financial assets that to me in a way that's prostitution and I'm just being for real I have never dated any masculine energy ever with any kind of money exchange I've always had my own job they've always had their own job period point blank bar none so I've never dated anybody to where they've given me money so I don't know how that feels is what I'm trying to say. But to me, this sounds like prostitution. And I'm just being for real, for real. I mean, technically it's not because I heard you're dating her. But I don't know how, I don't know how that would even work. And to me, it sounds like prostitution. She's very greedy. She, or she doesn't mind putting her booty out there for some money. So I think she, when she ran into you and she realized you were going to give her some money, if you dated her or maybe you've given her allowance or what have you, what have you. Obviously, you're wealthy, sir. Um, she was all about that life. For some, I feel, I think she might come from a poor background. And I think you know this. For some of you guys. And I'm serious. I think she might come from a poor background. And for some, you might have took advantage of that, possibly. Or maybe you're doing it the goodness of your heart. But I don't know. But she sure don't mind doing it. I'll tell you that. 
It's an Aries femme. She could have Aries in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter chart. She's very greedy. You were dating her. That's not a good foundation for a dating arrangement, and that's just the truth. Information, a Taurus is about to give information on a secret bank account in the past that was drained. Embezzlement and extortion. It's about to help out the feminine energy that was stolen from in a huge way. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to give information on a secret bank account that was drained in the past. Embezzlement and extortion. It's about to help out the feminine energy that was stolen from in a huge way. Well, you go with your um, bad self, Taurus. Um, you are a high vibrational Taurus there. You know of this bank account that was drained, i.e. extortion and embezzlement. It was a Femme Energy's account. Um, I don't know how they set that account up without her, her that account up without her authorization, um, unless they forged something um, in some shape, form, or fashion. But, um, but you know about it. I feel you could be a private investigator or police or work for the state or feds or something. Um, somehow you have the authority and knowledge you know about this. So whoever you are, Taurus, maybe for some you work at a banking institution. You plug it in how it resonates. Shark, take care. There will be a loss of material wealth. The Aries fam you are dating is about to ask for more money. There's always problem after problem after problem after problem. It's about to start annoying the hell out of you. Okay, I heard the Aries. Okay, so I think this is a younger Taurus masculine in here that's dating this Aries fan. Now, I don't know if she's younger or older. Only you know that. But you're definitely younger, 36, 35 or below. Um, but I heard this Aries fan that you're dating so strongly in here, younger Taurus masculine. I heard she is going to... Um, she's going to keep asking you for more money and more money and more money, basically. Um, I heard it's going to start annoying the hell out of you, so take care or there will be a loss of material wealth, meaning she's about to start asking you for more money there, sir. So you plug it in how it resonates. And an unexpected wildfire on land is about to shock the hell out of a Taurus, your land. You grow timber there for logging. Okay, an unexpected wildfire on a Taurus's land is about to shock the hell out of a Taurus. Heard you grow timber on it for logging. So you uh, use this land for, um, it sounds like tree farming. It sounds like tree farming and you grow the trees there for tree farming and to log and eventually have the loggers come out and log them or a paper mill is what I'm presuming. That's what it sounds like. But there's about to be an unexpected wildfire on this land, which it sounds like it's about to burn up all these trees, i.e. your money, i.e. the logs and the timber for the logging when it's time to harvest them. It sounds like tree farming. Um, so that's the loss of material wealth. Um, the wildfire hasn't happened yet, but it is your land, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. You be sir or ma'am. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So um, It's going to be a total loss. It's going to be a total loss is what I heard. It's going to be a total loss. So it sounds like you're going to lose all the temper. Um, and it's not only going to be your land. It's going to be many other family members. It's about to piss a lot of people off very soon. It's not only going to be your land, it's going to be uh, other family members. It's going to piss a lot of family members off soon. Well, I'm sure it is because that's money. Um, the trees farming on the tree on the land with the tree farm is money in your bank, money in your pocket after it goes to the paper mill. Um, yeah, I'm sure you will be pissed. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, you can be masculine or femporous. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Only you know if you own land that has um, is participating in tree farming or not.
a tourist is about to find lingerie that is not their lingerie. It's about to cause them to investigate, and they're about to find out about some a third party, some a fourth party, some a fifth party. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Some, you're a school teacher. Some, you're in school. You are married. Okay. So, um, some, you're in school. So, education, you're in school. Some, you are a school teacher. Um, I feel you can be masculine or feminine. Um, some, you work for human resources. Some, you work for child protective services. Some you work for human resources and some you work for child protective services and some you work for human resources and for some you work for child protective services. But for some, um, some of you guys are about to find lingerie that's not yours. I feel your femme energies. I feel your femme energies um, or masculine likes to wear lingerie. I hope that resonates, but you're about to find lingerie that's not yours. Some, through this investigation, your own personal investigation, you're about to find out some about a third party, some a fourth party, some a fifth party. Um, some you're in human resources, some you work for child protective services, some you um, are a school teacher, some you're in school, so education. You plug it in, how it resonates. I feel for a majority of you guys, you are femme energies, unless you're a masculine that really likes to wear a lingerie. Um, there are some men that like to do that, so um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's yikes. And a Taurus masculine that is dating somebody in his workplace, they're about to break it off with you. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. And a Taurus masculine that um, is dating somebody in their workplace, they're about to break it off with you. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. So trickery, they're about to break up with you. Um, I think there might have been lies or deception. Well, at least they're going to come clean and honest and say they want to break up. I mean, at least, just saying, just saying, at least they're, they're honest about it. Um, but you, y'all work together in the same workplace. I'll tell you that. Um, so it's going to embarrass your image. It's going to embarrass your reputation. It's going to embarrass the plans you had being with this person, I guess, because they're about to break up with you. But honestly, at least they're being honest about it. I mean, that way you can move on, they can move on, and it's happy and healthy and copacetic. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. That's why I don't date anybody in my workplace. Ever, ever, ever. I haven't since I was 18 years old, and I'm a 38-year-old woman. And I do it for strategic reasons, because of crap like this. It's too messy. It's too messy. But, of course, you have the free will to get into a relationship. And whoever, whatever, whoever you are, I don't think there's a... No fraternization type rule where you can't date your co-workers. I feel you are able to date your co-workers. Um, I've worked in no fraternization places and places where you can. But I won't do it. I refuse to do it. Period. Point blank. Because of crap like that. You plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys. I hope this helped. And I'm going to say.